Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Techie Jack. You can subscribe the channel for more interesting and advanced technology related videos. Today we are going to see the installation of a nano server. A nano server is first introduced in Windows Server 2016. It's a new feature introduced in Windows Server 2016. And the main benefit is that if you have a less uh, hardware, la like means you don't have a higher configuration of a hardware, you can still run the nano server on a less configuration of a hardware. It's a non GUI, that means you will not get any graphical interface in a nano server, and it works with only a 64 bit environment. And it is very good for DNS, IES, storage and many other services are also there which can run uh, well in nano server you cannot make a nano server as a domain controller you can say that this is a disadvantage or a drawback of nano server but as being like it does not have all the package included in itself which main windows server does have so you cannot make it as a domain controller and you cannot download this version like you cannot download any ISO media file for a nano server and you can uh, then install it it is already inside the physical media of Windows Server 2016 so let's see how to install nano server right now I am on a server 2016 and let's start the installation of our nano server I have a Hyper-V running here right now we don't have any nano server here and what we have to do see here it's a DVD drive inserted of Windows Server 2016 and you have to go to the nano server you have a folder here nano server and you have a nano server image generator so what you can do you can just first copy these file and I'm just uh, I have a D drive here and I'm just putting it as a folder inside a folder called nano and I'm putting this file to the nano folder now we have to open the PowerShell PowerShell uh, my F drive I have a Windows Server 2016 disk and if you see the D drive I have a D drive it's a empty and I put the nano folder inside here and all the three files are inside this folder so let's type import module that is our D D drive we have our nano server inside D drive D backslash nano the folder name backslash nano server if I click on tab I press the tab you can see I have the command nano server image generator dot psm1 so we are uh, importing this module and after that we have to set the location so we can type set location location is in my case it's a D colon backslash nano okay now we have to generate our VHD for nano server so that we will generate a virtual desk and after that uh, we will create a Hyper-V machine and we will use an existing disk and after that we will try to uh, boot with that disk so uh, the next uh, uh, PowerShell command I have here if you see here it's a new nano server edition edition you can type it here standard or enterprise edition the media path the media path in my case it is a F drive and if you have any other drive you can just type your drive here the base path is D in my case it is D I am just uh, trying to create a VHD inside D 
so D is uh, my base path and the target path for the VHD is D inside D nano uh, folder that VHDX that means I will get the VHD inside my this nano folder and deployment type is a guest computer name nano so if you want uh, another role uh, like you can want a package to be installed with this you can uh, I have I will just try to install this with this command if you want to install some package because there are multiple packages so you can type that package Microsoft nano server DNS package this command will install a DNS package and if you want to install any other package there are several commands you can run with those commands to install particular package but right now we are going just with this command so let's see if it work uh oh it gave us an error okay it gave us an error because the um, the command was not complete here it was still here so let's do here let's see let me erase this it's a deployment type as guest deployment type is a guest and then we will type the computer name nano nano let's see okay now it's asking for the password let me put the password and the meantime I want to show you this if we see what it, what changes are going here now you can see it's converting image processing and you can see here what it is doing finally it will make the machine by the name of nano it's converting the image and once we have a hard disk that VHDX we will just go to the Hyper-V and we'll try to create a new one Now you can see the name is nano server because here we see here we have put the here the nano server dot vhdx once it is created we will just go with the hyper-v installation this mounting image okay it is done the base package like what are the basic requirement for the nano server it has installed all those basic things so now let's see now we have it it's in a D drive and I'll just create a new folder I will say the test nano machine okay let's go to the server manager new virtual machine next the test nano and I'll store it in a D drive okay just remove this and paste it here in this folder okay we'll say generation 2 next I'll go with the dynamic RAM connect with the now here we will use the use an existing virtual disk and we have a virtual disk existing virtual disk inside our nano server that is nano server okay next and finish now let's 
connect the machine first and let's say start okay it's booting up the main thing is that uh, you have to decide like uh, which role you want to install on the nano server uh, that package you have to install on it so now we have a username and you can type administrator administrator password which we type there I'm not typing the domain now we are inside it if you want to do a networking you can see at the bottom you want to see like F5 for refresh or F6 to restart but now you can just type the enter for the networking and again enter and now right now uh, it's not picking the IP address from the DHCP and you want to set the IP address you can just press the F11 to set up the IP address it says DHCP enabled and you can just toggle by F4 you can disable it and type the IP address by your own like 192.168.2. okay I will give it 202 subnet mask 255.255.0 default gateway okay the operation succeeded the this way you can give the IP address to your machine if you want to, to go back you can just press the escape and you will be at the home screen and if you want to shut down you can just put the press the control F12 to shut down F5 for refresh and you can install any role on this uh, server to get started with it so guys I hope you get the point to install nano server you can subscribe the channel for more updates thank you for watching